Well, staffing shortages continue to impact the hospitality industry, specifically talking about restaurants across our area. Yeah, we've seen posts like this one from the European Street now saying that they had to limit their menu items because they don't have enough staff to serve their customers. Well, Leah Shields right now, she's on your side this morning with more on the staffing shortages. Good morning, Leah. Good morning. Well, restaurants, they need you. And I'm not talking about the customer. They need staff. Now hiring signs hang outside at restaurants new and old. We're outside Sugar Fire Barbecue. They just opened last week and they still need about 20 people to hire. Now down the road at Jack's Beach, V Pizza tells me they've figured out how to solve their staffing shortage issues. Order up. Sugar Fire Barbecue is now open with their first location in Florida on the first coast. But even with more than a year of planning, operating manager Shai Patel says they still need to hire about 20 people. It still feels like it's a struggle right now. I think people got used to being at home. Yeah. So, you know, uh, it's kind of hard to find people. To solve a problem, you have to figure out what's causing it. There are a few theories as to why restaurants can't find enough staff to hire. Some say people got comfortable on unemployment checks. Some people decided being a stay at home parent was more beneficial and others found new jobs in different industries that pay more. V Pizza in Jacksonville Beach realized the latter might be something they could work on. The reality is though the big change that we did, we did is we, we started making sure our employees and our new hires knew that we were going to guarantee that they make at least 15 bucks an hour which was a, a small increase. It was a it was a um, expense for us as a company, but it made a big difference on getting people in the door, getting people wanting to work for us. So if you're in need of a job, Sugar Fire Barbecue managers tell me you can come on by 9 to 11 a.m. They open at 11. So this is before opening hours. Come on in, talk to their managers. As for V Pizza, they tell me they're basically back to normal, except for they now just had to reinstate their mask policy for their staff due to the Delta variant. But everything is starting to look uh, more smooth for them. Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.